I'm Brooke Burke Charvet. I'm probably best known for uh, winning Dancing with the Stars and then going on to host eight seasons, but I'm a mom and a CEO and an entrepreneur and all kinds of other things. Well, this season of Celebrity Apprentice is really special because I think there's a freshness to it. I'm excited to work with Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's so excited. The Terminator. It's crazy. Um, but I think it breathes new life into a show that's um, one of Mark Burnett's you know, I iconic brands. And I'm looking forward to the cerebral challenge of the show. I think we have a powerhouse cast this season, like tons of athletes, strong, powerful women, a lot of mothers, a lot of brilliant minds. and. Um, Oh, it's game on. <laughs> game on today. You know, it's an interesting lineup this season. I met the cast briefly last night, so I haven't had a chance to really size everyone up yet, but I'm surprised at how many athletes, and I know from my own, you know, reality experience, history shows that the athletes really know how to perform, they're clutch under pressure. Um, history would also say on this particular show they haven't always done well. So it's kind of an interesting, um, colorful yeah, colorful cast this season. I'm trying to make this competition not about everybody else, but really about myself and my focus on my charity. I've been a Smile Ambassador for five years. I've been raising money over a half a million dollars for Operation Smile. I do everything they ask me. So I am deeply committed and passionate about that component of this competition. So it's about a lot of things for me. And I think it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it me against myself. and and um, just compete intelligently and, and uh, <laughs> for a good cause. I'm so happy that the season is taking place in Los Angeles. Um, I feel like that gives me and the locals here home turf advantage, which is awesome because I would be totally <laughs> lost in New York. Um, but I also think it, it poses some challenges for production. You know, it's a whole new show. Um, Mr. Schwarzenegger is on board, um, new turf. But I'm really happy because I know LA like the back of my hand, and this is home sweet home for me. So I'm very happy that it's here. Um, you know, we have no idea what to expect this season. You know, having Arnold Schwarzenegger as chairman of the board, um, nobody has seen him in that space before. We know that he's a brilliant businessman. We know that he's self-made. We know that he's the epitome of the American dream, that he started from nothing um, as a real estate mogul, was Mr. Universe, and then went on to serve two terms as our governor. So he brings a lot of different elements. Nobody knows what to expect running the boardroom. Um, or what that catchphrase is going to be, by the way. We're all like dying as a cast to figure out what he's going to say. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to work with him and I think it's, it's a great platform for all of us. We were all wondering what the tasks are going to be like this season. Having so many athletes on board, I wonder if there's going to be some physical components that would make sense. We know that branding and marketing is a big part of the show. And of course, fundraising. I don't know if we're going to be performing or writing commercials or doing silly skits or um, masterminding the concept of different brands. I, I don't even know what to expect. And that's the one scary element of the show is the element of uncertainty. Like we have, there's no planning, there's no preparing. We have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Um, and strategy is a big part of it. So uh, we have no idea. <laughs> What do I bring to the table? Um, well, I hope integrity. I hope that I can compete intelligently and fight fairly. And I've always been a businesswoman. I launched my first company um, with an online business. I'm the CEO of Modern Mom. I have multiple um, corporate partnerships, so I fully understand the concept of marketing and branding. But I've also done my share of reality competition shows, both as a, both as a competitor and as a host. So I get the mental breakdown, um, I get the cracking point, I've been the glue, I've been the host, I've been the terrified contestant. I think I've seen it all in this space. So I'm excited about that and I, I, I feel like I hopefully have a pretty good concept of what it takes to stay focused and not lose yourself in the drama and the stress and, and the fear um, and not to let a competition consume you. At the end of the day, I'm so passionate about my charity that this for me is a huge opportunity to raise a lot of money. So I plan to make it about the kids of Operation Smile rather than myself and um, just to try to bring some integrity to the whole process. 
So Operation Smile has been around for a very long time, raising a ton of money for children around the world with cleft palates and facial deformities. I've been a Smile ambassador for five years. I host their galas, I do their PSAs, I've been in the medical field. Um, I really hold on to that vision of taking a child, a baby in my arms through the OR and watching their lives transformed. So I've been on board spreading awareness and raising funds and it's an amazing organization and I think one of the most powerful things about Operation Smile is there's a solution. Um, they're not trying to figure it out. The doctors are in place and they're just needing to raise funds and it's a life-changing experience with too many children who have that that right you know to live a normal life and we know how infectious a smile is so very very powerful organization and I'm I'm a lifer so for me this is a great opportunity to just continue my commitment to them there are so many great Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonations and fortunately my son is still watching the Terminator so we're sitting around at home wondering is he gonna say you won't be back or you're terminated like we don't even know what he's gonna say but he's so iconic and so awesome and such a you know superstar actor as well as a businessman I, I don't know hasta la vista baby like we, <laughs> we don't even know what he's gonna say and hopefully I'll never hear it <laughs>